Hi Carl, uh, I've got the system put together the way uh, it shows on your uh, network layout. So we've got the uh, lighting controller set up. This is the Linux box. This is a uh, little Orbit Micro small form factor PC. And we've got the iLighting Manager software running. I'll get to that in a second. Coming out of the computer, with the lighting control, we have the RS-232 cable which is the beige cable there. This goes over and the uh, individual wires are broken out so that we can uh, see the signals that are on it. I'll show you that in a second as well. And that cable is connected to uh, the Neteon TCP IP server. Uh, configured that as it showed on your um, plan at IP of 10, 10, 10, 50. Okay, we've got a LAN light green which indicates 100 megabits per second communication with the CU we've got uh, the run light is blinking which indicates that the uh, firmware is running properly and we've got a comm light that blinks when the iLighting manager sends uh, commands over the serial so that box converts it to IP which puts it onto this blue ethernet cable which goes into the CU plus CU Plus is configured as shown, uh, IP of 10101075. This is the 9A9D unit. From there, it goes into the power strip under the lip of the workbench through this power cord. Okay. And then, plugged into the same power strip just a little further down is the RP. Okay, this is the RP MCT Plus. Okay, this is the unit that has the MAC address of 8D19. And it's configured uh, according to your drawing at 10.10.100. Uh, .10 then we come out of that with Ethernet on the yellow cable over to the second Neteon device which is configured with IP 10.10.10.200 and one thing that concerns me is here we've got a LAN light that is blinking orange uh, which according to the Neteon documentation means that it's only a 10 megabits per second communication um, interestingly when I plug in the other RP unit that I have, which is an RPE plus, I get a green LAN. Um, but it seems to be uh, having the same issue. So from this Neteon, we go back through uh, serial uh, DB9 out. Uh, you can ignore the interface here. Uh, basically, the serial out on this twisted pair goes to this ballast and lamp. So the comms are passing through. I've got this oscilloscope tied into the uh, ballast output at the far end. And what we're seeing is the, uh, the commands, um, which are four byte packets and they are uh, they're getting broken up a bit but occasionally you will see uh, the proper command come through and the ballast will reply so what you should see is uh, in figure one you'll see you know a set of blips that are 40 bits or four bytes stuck together and when the proper command goes through to the ballast and the address matches then the ballast will reply and you should see what's in figure two which is uh, a longer packet of eight bytes the four bytes at the beginning are the command and then tacked right on to it after it is the four byte reply and the reply signal is a slightly lower peak to peak voltage than the command signal but let's watch for a second and you'll see um, you'll see a good command go through occasionally
I saw one. I saw another. There's another, there's another, there's another, there's another. So, the commands are passing through, but they are being broken up somewhat. So if I take the uh, oscilloscope leads off of the uh, downstream end and move up to what's going in on the upstream end, we're not able to see any of the replies. Or if we do, they are one in a thousand. They're very, very, very sporadic. Basically, I see the four byte commands one after the next, and they're, they're well formed. They're still completely together. But no replies are coming back. Now I think that um, they are coming back, but it's it's so rare. It's very very uh, inconsistent. Not seeing any any replies. Um, the reason I think that it that it does work occasionally is if I pull up the software on. Um, I have seen the the light come alive. So basically, this is the uh, web interface for iLighty Manager. Um, sorry about the uh, busy screen, but basically at the top, you can see the uh, network I've got is called Casa de Davenport. Two lights and two errors. Uh, there was a second light attached, but I should at least see two lights with one error. But right now, I'm seeing that both lights have errors. I'm gonna hit F5 to refresh the screen and just make sure that nothing is communicating. And you have your floor plan of your building. I've got a JPEG photograph of my workbench on here now, which makes it extremely difficult to see, I apologize, but sitting in the middle of each lamp, there's an icon that looks like a light bulb, and they both are white background with a question mark, which according to the legend is, uh, not responding. Um, and like I said, I've, I've sat here and watched this for 15 or 20 minutes and I've seen this light number five, which is the first one in this photograph. I saw it light up green, but we did get a command through, but I'm not able to control it and the, and the uh, communications are very, very sporadic and I think it's a timing issue. I'm not positive, but it looks like they're uh, they're getting chopped up into bits down on the other end and then, you know, maybe chopped up again coming back through, but uh, they're just not consistent enough for the software to work. So, uh, take a look at this and give me a call if you have any questions. Thanks.